In Nigeria, there have been several bold proposals for skyscrapers that are so ambitious, they border on the impossible. From hexagonal buildings that tower over the Burj Khalifa to towering structures that reach heights of 4,000 meters, these mega-projects have captured the imagination of architects, engineers, and the public alike. But why do these proposals keep emerging in a country that faces significant economic and social challenges, including political instability, security concerns, and infrastructure deficits? In this video, we will explore some of Nigeria's most outrageous mega-projects and the factors that drive their conception, from the visionary to the practical. Join us as we delve into the world of Nigeria's impossible super skyscrapers. The Lagos Tower It is a proposed mixed-use tower that is said to be one of the tallest buildings in Nigeria. The tower is expected to be 55 stories tall, with a height of 205 meters, and will be located in Lagos, one of the largest and most popular cities in Africa. The tower is expected to be a landmark building in Lagos, providing a new focal point for the city's skyline. The Lagos Tower will be a mixed-use development, with luxury apartments, office space, and a hotel. The luxury apartments will offer residents stunning views of the city and will be designed to the highest standards of modern living. The office space will be state-of-the-art, equipped with the latest technology, and designed to attract leading companies from around the world. The hotel will offer world-class accommodations and amenities to visitors and tourists. The tower will also feature a range of amenities for residents and visitors, including a rooftop restaurant and lounge, a fitness center, and a swimming pool. The tower will be designed to be energy-efficient and environmentally sustainable, with features such as solar panels and rainwater harvesting systems. The tower will also be designed to withstand earthquakes and other natural disasters, given the region's seismic activity. The Lagos Tower is expected to be a significant development for Lagos, providing much-needed office space, luxury housing, and a new landmark for the city's skyline. It is also expected to generate significant economic benefits for the region, creating jobs and attracting investment. While the project is still in the planning and design stages, it represents a bold vision for the future of Lagos and Nigeria as a whole. However, the feasibility of the project will depend on several factors, including funding, regulatory approvals, and market demand. Next on the list. The Imperial Tower It is a proposed mixed-use tower that is said to be one of the tallest buildings in Nigeria. The tower is expected to be 59 stories tall, with a height of 220 meters, and will be located in Lagos, one of the most popular cities in Africa. The tower is expected to be a landmark building in Lagos, providing a new focal point for the city's skyline. The Imperial Tower will be a mixed-use development, with luxury apartments, office space, a hotel, and a shopping center. The luxury apartments will offer residents stunning views of the city and will be designed to the highest standards of modern living. The office space will be state-of-the-art, equipped with the latest technology, and designed to attract leading companies from around the world. The hotel will offer world-class accommodations and amenities to visitors and tourists, while the shopping center will provide a range of retail and dining options. The tower will also feature a range of amenities for residents and visitors, including a rooftop restaurant and lounge, a fitness center, and a swimming pool. The tower will be designed to be energy-efficient and environmentally sustainable, with features such as solar panels and rainwater harvesting systems. The tower will also be designed to withstand earthquakes and other natural disasters, given the region's seismic activity. The Imperial Tower is expected to be a significant development for Lagos, providing much-needed office space, luxury housing, and a new landmark for the city's skyline. It is also expected to generate significant economic benefits for the region, creating jobs and attracting investment. While the project is still in the planning and design stages, it represents a bold vision for the future of Lagos and Nigeria as a whole. However, the feasibility of the project will depend on several factors, including funding, regulatory approvals, and market demand. If completed, 
the Imperial Tower will be a symbol of Nigeria's growing economic and cultural importance on the global stage and a testament to the country's ability to undertake ambitious and innovative projects. Next, the Nigeria International Trade Center. It is a proposed mixed-use development that includes a 70-story skyscraper in Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. The tower is set to be 270 meters tall and will be one of the tallest buildings in Nigeria. The Nigeria International Trade Center is expected to be a landmark development in Abuja, providing a new focal point for the city's skyline. The Nigeria International Trade Center will be a mixed-use development with luxury apartments, office space, a hotel, and a convention center. The luxury apartments will offer residents stunning views of the city and will be designed to the highest standards of modern living. The office space will be equipped with the latest technology and designed to attract leading companies from around the world. The hotel will offer world-class accommodations and amenities to visitors and tourists, while the convention center will provide a venue for large-scale conferences and events. The tower will also feature a range of amenities for residents and visitors, including a rooftop restaurant and lounge, a fitness center, and a swimming pool. The Nigeria International Trade Center will be designed to be energy efficient and environmentally sustainable, with features such as solar panels and rainwater harvesting systems. The tower will also be designed to withstand earthquakes and other natural disasters, given the region's seismic activity. The Nigeria International Trade Center is expected to be a significant development for Abuja, providing much-needed office space, luxury housing, and world-class amenities. It is also expected to generate significant economic benefits for the region, creating jobs and attracting investment. The Convention Center will also enhance Abuja's reputation as a hub for international events and conferences. While the project is still in the planning and design stages, it represents a bold vision for the future of Abuja and Nigeria as a whole. The feasibility of the project will depend on several factors, including funding, regulatory approvals, and market demand. If completed, the Nigeria International Trade Center will be a symbol of Nigeria's growing economic and cultural importance on the global stage and a testament to the country's ability to undertake ambitious and innovative projects. And finally, the Eco-Atlantic City Tower. It is a proposed mixed-use tower that is said to be one of the tallest buildings in Nigeria. The tower is expected to be 68 stories tall, with a height of 270 meters, and will be located in Lagos, one of the largest and most popular cities in Africa. The Eco-Atlantic City Tower is expected to be a landmark building in Lagos, providing a new focal point for the city's skyline. The Eco-Atlantic City Tower will be a mixed-use development, with luxury apartments, office space, and a hotel. The luxury apartments will offer residents stunning views of the city and will be designed to the highest standards of modern living. The office space will be state-of-the-art, equipped with the latest technology, and designed to attract leading companies from around the world. The hotel will offer world-class accommodations and amenities to visitors and tourists. The tower will also feature a range of amenities for residents and visitors, including a rooftop restaurant and lounge, a fitness center, and a swimming pool. The Eco-Atlantic City Tower will be designed to be energy efficient and environmentally sustainable, with features such as solar panels and rainwater harvesting systems. The tower will also be designed to withstand earthquakes and other natural disasters, given the region's seismic activity. The Eco-Atlantic City Tower is expected to be a significant development for Lagos, providing much-needed office space, luxury housing, and a new landmark for the city's skyline. It is also expected to generate significant economic benefits for the region, creating jobs and attracting investment. The tower is part of the larger Eco-Atlantic City development, which is a planned city built on reclaimed land off the coast of Lagos. The development is intended to provide a solution to Lagos's chronic overcrowding and infrastructure deficits while also serving as a hub for businesses, tourism, and innovation. While the Eco-Atlantic City Tower is still in the planning and design stages, it represents a bold vision for the future of Lagos and Nigeria as a whole. The feasibility of the project will depend on several factors, including funding, regulatory approvals, and market demand. If completed, 
The Eco-Atlantic City Tower will be a symbol of Nigeria's growing economic and cultural importance on the global stage, and a testament to the country's ability to undertake ambitious and innovative projects. In conclusion, while Nigeria currently does not have any completed skyscrapers, the country has several ambitious proposals for high-rise buildings.